Hey yo, welcome back everybody. Thanks for tuning in to a very special episode of Bagged and Boarded with Pauly. I know it's not Wednesday, but I wanted to do a double upload this week because I just got something very special in for my birthday and I figured it was finally time to do a tribute to my Power Ranger collection. Now, if you've seen any of my videos, you should know by now that I am a huge Power Ranger fan have been since I was a kid, more specifically the older Power Rangers like Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Power Rangers Zeo, things like that. Um, but I, I am a big fan of all Power Rangers, especially the new movie that just came out um, last or this year. And overall, um, it's been a big part of my life and a big part of who I am. And, you know, ever since I started collecting comic books, they followed me into that world as well, you know, so just wanted to show you guys some of my Power Ranger stuff today and just give you a big tribute to some of the things that are cool and hopefully maybe turn a few people on to Power Rangers and hopefully, you know, keep it alive and well because it's still going, the show's still running and we're praying for a sequel to the new movie and, um, but yeah, so, so to start out, um, right now, the comic book producer, um, Boom Studios, actually decided to start making a, uh, they actually have two, maybe even I would say three, comic book series um, involving the Power Rangers, um, all three, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and the first one being um, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers with the Justice League, DC and Boom teamed up to start this series, and then they also have the series that is just um, the regular Mighty Morphin Power Rangers series, and then finally they also just started the new series that is Go Go Power Rangers, which I showed you in a past episode, so I won't really go into detail about this one, but so it really is showing that Power Rangers is not going anywhere, and Boom Studios really has brought them into the comic book world in a big way, and I just wanted to show you guys some highlights of my collection, sort of the things that I have, um, from not only Boom, but some older stuff that, uh, Hamilton Comics used to do, and even Marvel stepped into Mighty Morphin Power Rangers for a bit, so I guess starting out, we'll start on some of my more, uh, my favorite Justice League Power Ranger comics, and the first one is actually just the regular number one cover, um, pretty much just splits the Rangers and the Justice League right down the middle, and it's very badass and very cool, and, uh, uh, who would not want to read this if you are a fan of Power Rangers and DC? Uh, moving on, we also have um, this cover with Wonder Woman and Pink Ranger. Um, very nice artwork, I gotta say, very realistic and um, just very cool. Variant cover um, by Taylor Byrne, and um, but yeah, very cool there. And then finally, my other favorite is the GameStop exclusive Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and Justice League number one cover. Um, just really cool to see that GameStop got a cover. Um, came already previously bagged and boarded, so that's really nice of them. And then, um, so we'll kind of skip around a little bit. So those are my favorite Justice League Power Ranger uh, comics. I might have to make this into a two-part episode now that I think about it. But um, the next one, uh, I'm going to start going into some of my older comic books, um, is Image Comics created Saban's Power Rangers Zeo. Uh, Zeo was actually the second team of Power Rangers here in the United States after Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, um, led by Red Ranger Tommy, and uh, he's, he was the green and white ranger from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and uh, but Tommy Oliver is now the uh, Red Ranger, and yeah, this is my definitely my second favorite team, and uh, yeah, was able to find this one for fairly cheap. And then... Um, Moving in, and many people would be surprised to say that, uh, or would be surprised to see that Marvel Comics actually had a few uh, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger comics out there, and this is one of them, a few series, uh, the fabulous premiere issue based on the hit TV series, uh, and it is, it's very good artwork, a lot of great effort put into this, and, um, very cool and very, not too old, I believe this was about, it had to have been released in the late 90s when the show had come out, and um, also Hamilton Comics, they were big in releasing a lot of the older um, beginning of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, you can tell by the artwork, it's uh, definitely that later 90s-esque kind of book. And then um, I also have the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers uh, trade, released by Hamilton Comics, and um, 
yeah, I really like this cover because it has the uh, Power Rangers on the front. This is actually the second team of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers after Rocky took over as the Red Ranger after Jason retired it and when Trini um, tragically passed away um, and Adam took over as the Black Ranger after Walter Scott uh, had to go. Or Zack is the uh, character's name in the uh, show, but Walter Scott was the actor's name. But yeah, it's a very cool cover there. It's a big trade. It has a lot of different stories in it. And um, there was also, very recently, um, Power Rangers Aftershock was released, and this is actually based on what happens after the movie. And if you guys don't know, this year, uh, Power Rangers was actually released in theaters, uh, a reboot of the original series. I absolutely love the film. Thought it kind of got a bad rap on Rotten Tomatoes, um, but I really liked it. The fans appeared to unanimously like it, and um, hopefully it gets a sequel. And this book is actually based off of what happens after the film is over and in case any of you were wondering if you had actually purchased the movie on dvd from target the steel book you were actually able to get a small version of this same book for free within the uh, dvd case so yeah very interesting so i highly recommend you getting the steel book from target of that movie if you want to get it on dvd and blu-ray so, moving on to more of the core of what I enjoy is the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the regular series that was released from Boom. Uh, it's been going on for well over a year now, and I have many favorite variants, and that whole entire box is filled with them, so I can't really go into a whole lot of detail. I don't want to bore you guys with just random covers, so I kind of picked out some of my favorites um, overall. And uh, I might dig a few out that I happen to notice or I may have forgotten about. Um, but a couple of my favorites, probably my favorite run of these uh, variant covers was probably the ones done by Goni Montes. I actually met him at Baltimore Comic Con last year. And he was a very nice guy. He was in charge of doing these variant covers of all of the Zords. And he did one of all the Zords uh, that all the Rangers had. And also then Megazord. And these are absolutely amazing. Pretty much all of them have each ranger on top of their respective zord. Here's White Tiger. And I think I might actually dig out a few more of these because uh, they're in the front. So here we have the Triceratops with Billy. Um, and then we have the Mastodon with Zack. And there is Goni Monte's signature on the bottom. And then on the back we have the Sabertooth Tiger with Trini. And then we have the Dragon Zord with Tommy and the, Tricer uh, the uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex with Jason. And then we also have the Pterodactyl with Kimberly. So these are definitely my favorite variant covers of all of them. And I, you know, just thought that uh, I, you know, wanted to pursue the remainder of them because I knew Goni Montes was going to be at Baltimore Comic Con and he would sign them for me. So he was a very nice guy. And that's another really good thing about um, comic books that I enjoy is that you're able to get a better um, relationship with the creators. You know, you, 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 when you go and see a movie, it's much harder to meet those actors but you know if you get connected with a comic book it's much easier to find the creator and talk to them and tell them how much you enjoy their work so moving on a little bit a couple other ones that i really enjoyed were some of the annuals that uh uh power rangers released and probably my favorite was the colorado springs exclusive annual cover with kimberly and tommy on the front the green ranger very cool cover there and then probably my favorite, if not one of my favorites, is the Baltimore Comic-Con exclusive Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number one cover. I really like this cover because Baltimore Comic-Con does not get many exclusives of anything, you know. And I just thought that uh, it was really cool that they were able to make an exclusive um, to that con of my favorite comic book right now. And it has many things that Baltimore is known for. For example, the giant crab that I thought was incredible, and a bird. Now, I think that that is supposed to be a homage to the Ravens or the Orioles or just a random bird. Um, I think it's the Raven because of Edgar Allan Poe, so that's what I'm going to go with. Um, but, yeah, and it has the convention center right there, a lot of people watching the battle. I just thought that this was so cool. I was able to get the artist to sign the cover, and, yeah, it was super cool, and I had to pick it up. And then next one is the Borderlands Comics and Games exclusive Power Rangers number two. And um, sort of like an old 8-bit video game beat-em-up. And um, I just thought this one was really cool. And I love the 8-bit style. Uh, it's very original and very different. And uh, I had to pick it up while I could. 
So moving on to the next cover, um, we also have probably my favorite regular number one is this one, the Third Eye Comics exclusive um, Power Rangers number one that has Tommy both versions, um, sort of the half and half, and I think this is so badass, uh, having you know half of it being the Green Ranger version of Tommy and the White Ranger version of Tommy. Um, and I definitely had to pick this one up. It's so cool and so badass. So, and just another couple of random comic variants that I have. Uh, Tommy, uh, right here. Just really detailed, very good artwork. A lot of effort put into a lot of these books. And as you can see, if you don't already know that the Tommy Oliver is my favorite, um, is my favorite Power Ranger of all time in any version of himself. The Green Ranger, the White Ranger from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, um, the Red Zeo Ranger from Zeo Power Rangers, and then also the Black Ranger from Dino Thunder. Uh, overall, he is just a super cool character, and um, he's really uh, been one of my, you know, just favorite fictional characters of all time. And I really hope I'm able to meet the actor one day, Jason David Frank. Um, because he's always at cons, he's just never at one near me, so I was unable to do that. So I think I might have to split this into a two-parter, because I still have some comic books that I want to show you, and I also have a lot of collectibles that I want to show you that I have. One in particular that I definitely want to show off, so this might be split into a couple of episodes, but uh, we're going to move on to some more comics that I have, and this is actually a more specific Power Ranger, the Pink Ranger. Now, Kimberly Hart is the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Pink Ranger, and... I've been a big fan of hers for a while, you know, just because, you know, as a young kid, Kimberly was easily your fa your first crush, and uh, she's also a very cool character. She's very independent, she's very solo, and um, she's a super badass. She doesn't need anybody to help her, She's and she also got her own comic about herself, so I thought that this was really cool that Boom Studios decided to do this, and I decided to pull out some of my favorite uh, variant covers of this comic as well. So, uh, I'll start off with my favorite. Uh, my favorite cover of this Pink Ranger series was definitely this one. It's a uh, Pink Ranger number one, um, created by Babs Tar. She's a big Batgirl artist, and she is uh, just a very good comic book artist overall. And this is what she designed, was the half Kimberly and half Pink Ranger um, cover. And in, in case you can't already tell, it's got glitter on it. I mean, this is such a very detailed and very cool comic book. Very, uh, not very cheap, not very easy to find, but if you can find it, I definitely recommend this one because this one's super awesome. This is actually my phone case at the moment, but you can't tell because I have to record, um, my videos on my phone, but that's just a homage to how much I love, um, the character. And a couple other ones that I got, um, from the Newberry Comics exclusive, uh, Pink Ranger, just a very cartoony look to her, and very simple, but I liked it a whole lot, so I decided why not get it. And then a couple others that I really liked was the White Ranger, Pink Ranger cover. Looks pretty realistic, the Hastings um, Entertainment cover, uh, just half Kimberly, half White Ranger, very detailed, very good art here, a lot of uh, exquisite detail in my opinion, uh, very simple also at the same time. And then finally, we have a couple of old-fashioned um, co uh, comic variants here, looking at um, the old samurai. It's like a samurai look on the comic, um, on the Power Rangers, pardon. And then um, it has uh, a couple of characters here for the Pink Rangers specifically, and this is Trini, the saber-toothed tiger in the background. Um, they, uh, they put Trini and uh, Kimberly under the uh, Pink Ranger variants while they put um, Zack, Billy... And Jason, I'm not sure if they made a Tommy Oliver version of this cover, but if they did, it probably went under the regular Mighty Morphin Power Ranger comic series, not the pink Ranger comic series. So we, I have this one of the Sabretooth Tiger, and then I also have Kimberly as the pterodactyl in the background. So very cool. And then finally, probably my simplest cover that I have of the pink Ranger is this one right here. Just the pterodactyl in the background and her holding her bow. Just a very cool detailed and a lot of good color on the pink, on the pink ranger in this cover as well, so, yeah, oh, and I also have this one here, uh, with Kimberly and all of her team back behind her, along with all of her weaponry and her outfit, so, yeah, so, this is definitely gonna have to get split into another episode, uh, I'm kinda limited to only 15 minutes on my episode, so, there you have it, there's part one of my Power Ranger-a-thon, 
And um, we're going to be coming back to finish up the rest of my comics here for the Power Rangers and also moving into my collectibles. Thank you guys for watching. I'll definitely have another episode up today of Power Rangers. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. See ya.